So TT Artisan sent over this really unique lens. It's a 50mm manual focus lens with a f.95 aperture. I've tested it with my Canon R7 and I have some thoughts. Right off the bat, one of the first things you'll notice when you take it out of the box is the nice retro look and feel. Of course, it's all about personal taste. While I do like the retro look, I'm not sure how good it fits with a modern looking mirrorless camera like my Canon R7. I think it will look much better on some of the Fuji cameras. In terms of build, it's really solid. The metal materials make it quite heavy though, despite the compact size. It's also very front heavy. For controls, there's a focus ring and an aperture ring. Both feel quite sturdy and there are indicator marks for aperture and focus distance. Also nice, the aperture ring is clicked, which makes it really easy to be accurate. The lens extends a bit when turning the focus ring, but not by much. But let's talk about the lens cap for a second. You basically have to screw it onto the lens. And since it's metal on metal, 50mm is a nice all-round standard focal length with similar characteristics to what we see with our human eyes. It's very versatile and great for a variety of photography and video. This specific lens though is designed for APS-C cameras, which makes it equivalent to about 75 to 80mm on full frame. Now that's ideal for portraits, with not too much distortion, nice isolation of the subject and good background separation. It's also great for capturing detail, and in terms of video, Video, it's perfect for interviews. Let's start with a standout feature here, that 0.95 aperture. This gives you that super dreamy look, with kind of a glow effect around your subject, and a fully blown out background. The bokeh is nice and smooth. Now is it that much different from f1.2 or even 1.4 though? Here's a couple examples. The super wide aperture is especially handy in low light situations. You can definitely see the difference with a f2.8 lens. Now in terms of image quality, well obviously it's not as good as some of my other lenses. Sharpness is okay, but not great. At wide apertures it's definitely soft, but that could also be because of the manual focus and moving around a bit. In general it's really tough to get sharp photos at f0.95. There's also quite a bit of chromatic aberration when shooting wide open. Once you stop down, it gets better. And unfortunately, you won't be able to get too close to your subject since the lens has a quite long minimum focus distance. Now what makes this lens very hard to use for me is that it only has manual focus. I am so used to autofocus that I really feel limited with what I can do with this lens. Now this is of course a matter of personal experience. You might actually like manual focus. Consider this though, combining manual focus with such a wide aperture makes it extremely challenging to take good photos. It is really tough to nail focus with such a shallow depth of field, especially handheld. Now the Canon R7 does have IBIS, and that definitely helps, but still it's just not easy to get things in focus. Basically you have to shoot multiple photos in a burst and then hope you'll have a usable one in there. So how do I feel about this 50mm lens from TT Artisan? Well, it's fun to play around with, but it's not something that I would use on a regular basis. If you have a very specific need for that 0.95 aperture though, it might be worth a look. It's a unique lens with cool features, but also with limitations. At around 220 bucks though, it won't break the bank. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.